using mathematical approaches in biology is helpful in clarifying thought above and beyond everything else. Uh, it helps one get clear on what, what the assumptions are and to distinguish assumptions from predictions. And uh, you can think of it as a vitamin pill for the brain. In my own work, um, I've done uh, a lot of uh, studies of uh, the ecology of the rocky intertidal zone, which is the zone between the low tide and the high tide along the seashore. And um, to help plan uh, that work, we did a lot of modeling about how the uh, animals that live along the shore are coupled to the dynamics of uh, the currents and the uh, food supply available out in the ocean. And by synthesizing what happens in the ocean to, with what happens uh, along the shore, we were able to design a research program which let us uh, sample both the shore and the ocean uh, in a way which uh, let us uncover what was happening in the system as a whole. Without modeling, uh, almost always, uh, an empirical research program winds up uh, committing too much effort to studying parts of the system that aren't very important and uh, investing too little effort in parts of the system that turn out to be very important. And uh, so our experience as people who use uh, mathematics and biology is that the thinking should come before the field work. The thinking and the modeling should come before the experiments and uh, the data are collected.